The Irish Wolfhound is one of the oldest dog breeds, approximately 2,000 years old. It was bred in Ireland to hunt wolves, wild boars and other large predators. Later, wolfhounds began to be used to protect fortresses and settlements. During numerous military campaigns, powerful and brave dogs were pitted against the enemy. They could easily throw riders off their horses. In those days, these bearded giants were known as the Irish Hound. Interesting fact, the ancestors of these dogs are believed to have been introduced to Britain by the Celts around 300 BC. In ancient Rome, wolfhounds were used to bait wild animals in circuses. They participated in dog fights, which were especially common in those days. Several hundred years ago, the wolfhound was a rarity in Europe. This graceful dog was a welcome gift of many noble people, but later its export was prohibited outside England on pain of death. It was this prohibition that caused the breed to degenerate. In a fairly short period of time, wolves in the country were exterminated and the Irishman was left without his main job, hunting. The Irish giant was twice on the verge of extinction and only thanks to the efforts of admirers of the ancient breed has survived to this day. In the 18th century, for the revival of the breed, breeders were forced to cross it with the Great Dane and the Greyhound. The updated breed became popular again. At this time, the very first standard of the Irish Wolfhound and the first club of breed lovers appeared. Today, this giant is recognized as the mascot of the Irish Army. Irish Wolfhound, Description of the Breed According to the current breed standard, which was updated in 2001, the Irish Wolfhound is classified as a wire-haired sighthound. They are large dogs, but their body is graceful and not overweight. The growth of males at the withers is approximately 80 centimeters with a weight of 54 to 55 kilograms. Bitches are no more than 70 to 71 centimeters tall and weigh 40 40.5 kilograms. Dogs are very graceful during movement, their head is always slightly raised, and the whole appearance is full of nobility. Description of the breed according to the standard, the head of the wolfhound is elongated and the forehead is slightly convex. The animal's muzzle is characterized by a slight sharpening. The nose is wide and large, black pigmented, scissor or straight bite. The teeth are not large. The muzzle ends with a large wide nose, pigmented in black, the eyes are oval, medium in size. The eyelids are tight. The look is calm, but focused. The ears of the dog are small, set high. The neck is rather long, has a pronounced muscle relief and expands towards the back. The back and loin are wide. The croup is muscular, slightly sloping, and the chest is powerful. The stomach is tucked in, the tail is long and thick, covered with thick hair, the limbs of the wolfhound are straight, long, with well-developed muscles. The paws are round, and the nails are large. This giant has a good-natured look, but only if he is in a familiar and calm atmosphere, where he is not provoked to aggression. If necessary, the animal will rush into battle with a dangerous enemy without hesitation, even if he is outnumbered, and will come out of the battle as the winner. Popular colors of Irish Wolfhounds The Irish Wolfhound has a very coarse coat, which is somewhat longer in the region of the eyebrows and forms eyebrows. The dog's chin has a small beard made of the same elongated hairs. On the head, legs, beard and above the eyes of the Wolfhound, the hair looks like a thin wire. The body itself is covered with softer, but short and wavy hair, the dog's undercoat is very soft. The density of the coat is medium. The tail of the animal is abundantly covered with hair, which is softer at the end and hard at its base. The most popular colors of wolfhounds from Ireland, all shades of gray, the black, variegated, brindle, dark and light brown, wheaten or golden, brighter muted red, peebled, white. According to the current standard, for the Irish wolfhound breed there are no strict requirements for the shade of the coat, it can be absolutely anything. The nose, claws, eyelids should always be black. True Irish eyes are only dark brown or almost black in color, and all other Irish shades are excluded. The bearded giant's unusual coat needs regular, careful grooming. At least once every two days, you must early brush the dog with a special brush for this type of coat. If the care is insufficient, then the animal will very quickly lose its attractive appearance. There is no need to cut Irish wolfhounds, as regular trimming is sufficient. They shed not very actively and, due to this, do not cause additional inconvenience to their owner and other household members. The Nature and Habits of the Irish Wolfhounds Irish Giants are friendly. There are only two ways to provoke aggression in them, if you attack a dog, if you threaten the life of its owner. They do not yield to provocations from other dogs if there is no direct threat. They are smart enough and able to make decisions on their own. Dogs get along well with other pets, but only with those who are with them from an early age. In other cases, the hunter's instinct may work. Bearded giants are very patient with children and will never respond with aggression if a child accidentally hurts them while playing. The dog will simply move to the far corner of the room so that it will no longer be bored. Despite this, you should not leave them alone with small children. 
They may be alone for a while, but most of all they love to be with everyone. At the same time, the dogs never get confused underfoot, but majestically sit down next to them and carefully observe everyone, waiting for the household to need their help or communication. Irish wolfhounds are considered the quietest dog breed. They give voice only in exceptional cases, always behave very delicately, try not to disturb anyone. These animals can not only be beaten, but also humiliated. Dogs are especially sensitive to voice intonation. They can easily be offended by cruelty, rudeness, inattention. They are devoted to their master, to other household members. People who are strangers to them will only be attacked if they pose a real danger. In other cases, the Irish have no aggression towards a person at all. Interesting facts about Irish wolfhounds. Irish wolfhounds have served in the Cloverleaf Irish Guard since 1908. Only males are accepted for service. The dogs are completely on state allowances and even have uniforms. They start training at an early age. In animals, endurance and discipline are formed. Wolfhounds live in the families of those whom they accompany at the service. Other interesting facts about the Irish Giants. All puppies training takes place exclusively on the parade ground to the loud sounds of a military band. Bearded wolfhounds are often featured in various historical films. Dogs of this breed have been guarding Buckingham Palace for several centuries. It is believed that the common potato brought to Ireland from America was one of the reasons for the degeneration of the ancient breed. Because of this agriculture, the inhabitants of the country abandoned hunting as their former main occupation, and the Irish wolfhounds were no longer needed. During military battles, wolfhounds were used to pull the rider from chariots or horses. The only unacceptable coat color for the Irish wolfhound is blue. Hundreds of years ago.